oh, he locked up. They need you. It was just like too much going on. Right. And I just had to sit back and realize like who to cut off, like I say, and just. Lil Durk is one of the most popular Chicago rappers. His songs have been ruling the chart for the last 10 years. Like many before him, he also became involved in street life at a very young age. He finally made the decision to find another way of living when he saw his cousins being shot. Rapping was something that Lil Durk was always interested in, but didn't think it was for him. Luckily, he gave it a try, and today he has six albums, millions of fans, and a great family. Today, he's truly living life on his own terms. Let's take a look at the complete journey of Lil Durk. Before we get started, make sure to leave a like and comment on this video if you also believe Lil Durk will be one of the biggest rappers of the 2020s. Dirk Derek Banks, aka Lil Durk, was born in Chicago on the 19th of October 1992. He lived in one of the most neglected neighborhoods of the city and didn't expect a good childhood. His father got arrested when Banks was only 7 years old. After Banks Sr. got arrested, Dirk's family faced an immense financial crisis. There were times when they didn't even have enough food. Things weren't going well for him in school either, so he decided to drop out. After that, he joined the gang The Black Disciples. When Dirk became a father at 17, he wanted to provide a better life to his child. That moment became a turning point for him and he decided to venture into music. Humble Beginnings Rapping was something Dirk did for fun when he was in school. He uploaded a few songs online and soon got appreciation from people who heard them. But then things took a turn for the worse and he joined a gang. After seeing a lot of blood, Dirk decided to change his ways and went back to his old passion. Initially, Dirk was constantly being rejected when he joined the industry. Before he struck the gold with Life Ain't No Joke, nobody was taking him seriously. Famous rappers were denying his request to feature with them, and record companies were showing no interest in signing him. It was Chief Keef from Glow Gang who heard some of his stuff online, and then contacted him via social media. On Messenger, they shared information about each other, and Keef decided to add him to his crew. Keef helped Dirk find his rhythm. Together they worked on a number of mixtapes, and it was the third EP that put Banks in the spotlight. It got downloaded more than 200,000 times. The Streak of Successful Mixtapes and Debut Album in December 2012, Dirk released a track called L's Anthem, which was later remixed by French Montana and got a re-release. The success of his two singles, L's Anthem and This Ain't What You Want, got him a deal with Def Jam Recordings. He launched his own collective OTF with the recording label. His fourth mixtape, Signed to the Streets, saw some delays, but eventually got released in October 2013. His mixtapes were being received really well, and that gave him the confidence to work on his first feature album. In March 2015, Dirk announced the title of the said album. It was Remember My Name. The album peaked at the 14th spot on Billboard Top 200. In its first week, it sold 24,000 copies. Critically, it was very well received. From Dirk's Chicago drill rap style to his writing prowess, everything was appreciated. High on the success of his debut album, Banks decided to release his sixth mixtape, 300 Days, 300 Nights, that same year. The single My Beyonce became extremely popular, and in 2017, it became certified gold by RIAA for having sold over 500,000 copies. Laugh Now, Cry Later in collaboration with Kanye West. In 2020, Dirk released his fifth album, Just Cause Y'all Waited For Two. Three-Headed Goat was the most popular song, and it was Dirk's first time being on the second spot on Billboard. The deluxe edition of the album also peaked at the number two position on Billboard 200. Then later that same year, he featured on Drake's track Laugh Now Cry Later. The song became one of the most popular tracks of 2020. In 2021, Kanye West's album Donda broke all kinds of records. It wouldn't be a lie to say that it was the hottest album of the year, and Dirk featured on one of its songs titled Jonah. The rapper's now been working on his seventh studio album, and just like his contemporaries, he's also trying to broaden his horizon. A New Age Rapper Lil Durk's childhood and foray into rapping wasn't a unique story, since every other rapper from bad neighborhoods has been exposed to the same lifestyle. However, he's hell-bent on changing the narrative, especially after getting a voice due to his talent. Where most rappers try to portray the world of hip-hop as dangerous as possible, Banks tries to stay honest with his fans. He's even warned young fans and aspiring rappers to be aware of those who always talk about living dangerously and being gangsta. Without naming names, he said that most rappers aren't what they portray themselves to be. His statement made many musicians upset, but Dirk couldn't care less. To steer clear of gangs' feuds, Dirk didn't try to become a part of any group in the music industry. He only focuses on the kind of music he wants to make and doesn't like to get involved in unnecessary trolling. Because he has the atrocities that children face in the bad neighborhood, he now hopes to provide a safe platform for them. Through his label OTF, Dirk wants to empower young kids from his hometown, who then wouldn't have to pick street life as their only survival option. And with that, we've come to the very end of this video. Tell us in the comments below what's your favorite song of Lil Durk. Let us know your thoughts on the whole video below. Also, don't forget to leave a like on this video. And if you're new to this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button for all future